So hi, Gets. Hi. Hi, everyone to, uh, from Sonic State who's tuning in. We are here on Superboost at Erika Synth again. And we're looking at the steam pipe, right? Yeah, steam pipe. So what is the steam pipe? Steam pipe is a polyphonic synthesizer with no oscillators. <laughs> so <laughs> basically, okay. we today you, you can find like plenty of uh, reissues of polyphonic synthesizer, plenty of newly designed polyphonic synthesizers. We wanted to take a different approach and uh, we collaborated with a uh, Dutch company, 112 Decibels, who became good our friends. And we developed uh, a physical modeling synthesizer, which is like completely different approach how sound is generated in synthesizer. So basically it's um, a synthesizer which mimics uh, which has al uh, mathematical algorithms that mimic how sound is generated in uh, pipe organs or in wind instruments or in string instruments. It has several sections. And uh, like first one takes care about how you blow uh, wind uh, or air into the instrument. So it's called steam section. So here, depending on uh, how much noise you apply or how much uh, uh, air pressure you apply, you can adjust this one and then sound passes into the uh, pipe itself where you determine how how the feedback is organized in the pipe so how actually the sound is generated in uh, like real life pipe uh, organ and then you can adjust tuning you can add some harmonics you know it's basically the delay box and then you can split uh, delays add some harmonics adjust split point adjust uh, how um, how you treat the sound so how much it's filtered going on and um, at on the top you have a reverb so basically uh, the mathematical model describes uh, exactly how uh, you generate sound in real life instruments and uh, the question is why would you need a synthesizer if you have a real life instrument <laughs> but uh, with synthesizer you can go well beyond uh, typical uh, range of like flute, for instance. Uh, you can go to sub octaves, which is not possible on regular flute, right? Uh, so, so should we uh, hear a bit more of it? So you've got some, you've got a the wind pipe, uh, wind, wind controller. Wind controller yeah. So one. we yeah. are using uh, child labor. So my daughter, mother, I will play, perform a little bit on, uh, <laughs> on that one. So well, I'll set. Uh, we have several presets. Of course, um, more presets will be uh, in um, in development when the uh, instrument will be finalized. But yeah, let's let's try.
So and as you see how organic the uh, sound is generating, so we have correct part of uh, this noise feeding in, you know, and interesting thing with algorithm is that it really takes in account uh, how, what sound you are generating. For uh, lower sounds, uh, mother needs to blow much more uh, intense in order to like fill the tube <laughs> because it actually uh, counts you know, that the tube is well, pipe is really really large one <laughs> and then so on so yeah this is for really naturally sounding um, uh, wind instrument or string instrument sounds but you can go well beyond and uh, go crazy with tweaking parameters and uh, and play it uh, also polyphonic because like wind instrument is monophonic but uh, here when uh, connecting keyboards you have eight voice polyphony as well so when when are you kind of hoping to have it done by and what what's the kind of time scale of by the end Release. of the year, okay, perfect. <laughs> yeah, closer to the autumn, you know, <laughs> because we are doing some tweaks on the interface as well, and we are want to perfect the uh, DSP engine because well, some some algorithms at the moment do not sound as good as I would expect, but uh, yeah, we're getting there. So, is this kind of a final production prototype, or a there will be another uh, tweak on this one, yeah. right? Okay. But uh, but basically, the interface will uh, will be very very similar. Maybe some uh, knobs will be replaced and uh, will adjust the uh, range of uh, each knob because it's uh, you can go with the same twist of knob. You can go to some extreme or just lose a sound because uh, on that specific sound design patch, you know, this knob uh, does something else on different patch. You know? <laughs> yeah. So um, uh, do you have a kind of final price? Are we kind of not there yet if we've still got some tweaks to do? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we can make an estimate, but we typically, we decided not to reveal price because some retailers just list the product even it's not announced. <laughs> okay, yeah. So we Fair want enough. to avoid yeah. that one. <laughs> okay, brilliant. Well, uh, Gertz, thank you very much. And yeah, uh, thank you guys for being with us and, uh, and thank you for following Erika since. Brilliant, thank you.